Hi everybody, welcome to Kayla X Shiny. I'm Kayla and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how we DIY these beautiful menus that we use for my birthday dinner using the Cricut. The first step in creating these menus is painting the acrylic sheets. And what we're going to use to paint them is sponges, acrylic paint, and acrylic sheets. We got all three of these things from Amazon and I will have them linked below. The first step is taking a sponge dipping it in the acrylic paint and tapping it on the back of the acrylic sheet. You want to make sure you peel the film off one side of the acrylic sheet and this will be considered the back side of your menu. I didn't have a specific design in mind, I just kind of freestyled it so a lot of the menus have different designs and I actually liked that and made them look more unique to me. So here's a look at all the different designs I did. Once you have all of them painted the way you want, you just let it sit out overnight and let them dry. The next step is putting what you wanted to say on the menu in the Cricut Design Space. We didn't really show you guys how we did that. However, if you want a detailed video on how to make things in the Cricut Design Space, just let us know in the comments and we will get that video out to you. We did want to make more than one menu at a time so this process can go by a little faster. So we used a bigger mat and right now you see her just sorting the project how we want it to be cut out on the mat. Right now you see me cutting out the gold foil vinyl paper to the size we want and laying it on the mat. All the items that I use right now I got from Hobby Lobby and I will have them linked below. Next, you see me feeding the mat into the Cricut machine and starting the cutting process. Once it's done cutting, you'll see me get my scraper and gently go across the words. I found that that really helped so that all the letters will stay on the mat when I pull the extra vinyl off. The next step is using the picker and tweezer tool to lift up the edge of the vinyl. And now you'll see me slowly lifting up and pulling off the extra vinyl. Make sure you go really slowly and carefully so you don't lift up any of the letters.
Now I'm using my picker tool and going through and picking up any of the extra vinyl from the middle of the letters. Right now you see me folding the half and cutting it because it's two different menus and I didn't want to lift up the words for both menus at the same time. Next, you're gonna lay the transfer paper over one menu and you're gonna use the scraper and go across the words again very lightly so that you can make sure all the letters stick to the transfer paper when you lift up. Now you see me slowly lifting the words off of the mat onto the transfer paper. And what I found that helped me is to also take the scraper and lightly go over the words again right before you lifting it up so that way you don't leave any of the letters. Next, you want to line up the words for the menu over the acrylic sheet. Make sure you center it so that way it can look really nice. Once you have it in the position you want it to, you just lay the transfer paper on top of the acrylic sheet. Also, you want to make sure you take off the film that's going to be on the front of the acrylic sheet because you don't want to lay the words on top of the film. The final step is of course taking your scraper and going over the words again lightly before you peel back the transfer sheet. And here are my final results. It turned out so beautiful. It was way better than I expected. If you like the way the menus turned out and you want more of this type of content, just let me know in the comment section. Also, please don't forget to like and share our video and subscribe to our channel for more to come. We have so many videos lined up within this next month. So if you don't want to miss any of the home decor and DIY videos that's coming up, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell button 